Hello, not that quick here and welcome to another video. Before we get into anything today, if you are enjoying the content, please remember to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel, it would be very much appreciated. So, on to today's video. As I'm sure you're all aware, we are still suffering from the server issues on GT7 after the last update, which is driving a lot of us nuts. And just to add salt to the wound, PD haven't really given us any form of clue as to when it might be fixed. People are losing their DR and SR ratings and generally getting pretty frustrated. You'd think, as this has happened during the launch of the new Forza Motorsport, they'd be jumping on this to keep people from jumping over. But they haven't, and it's not really been the case. I waited 45 minutes on this screen today to get into a lobby and for me and everyone else who enjoys the game I think it's pretty unacceptable. However, we did eventually get into a full lobby and this is what happened. So on to the race then and 10 laps of Watkins Glen. Having to use softs and the hard compound in this race, uh, most people seem to stop around halfway which is what we're going to do you can use a slightly different strategy but this one seems to work out the best for most people i think starting from the back all towards the back no qualifying got my big boy pants on today see if we can fight our way up a little bit and wobble it there living up to his name having a huge moment out onto the first straight of the first lap down into turn one giving him enough room because uh, I think he might do a little bit of a dive bomb. Another wobble from Wobblet. Wobblet's wobbling all over the place, wobbly wobbly. Through the S's, Ferrari there deciding to do a little bit of gardening on the left hand side, which a few people are gonna do on this lap as we are about to find out. Trying to stay inside his slipstream, going into the bus stop for the first time, taking it nice and carefully, giving him enough room, another car, packed on the track on the left hand side there for some reason and another guy that seems to have already picked up a penalty turning into a little bit of a bomb site this first lap which unfortunately is going to be a theme that carries on for most of the race we're starting on hard tyres which is the excuse I'm going to use by uh, for missing the apex there by about 10 miles another hairpin Managing to find the apex on this one, but the Spaniard there deciding he's one of these for this race, but each to their own. On to lap two then, down into turn one, behind Woblet again, who is again wobbleting all over the place, if that's a word. Trying to stay in his slipstream, coming up through the S's as we head down towards the bus stop. Much closer to Woblet now as we head towards the penalty zone where he's going to serve his one second penalty and nicely hand 10th place over to us. Coming up towards the end of the second lap now as we approach the back of this gaggle of cars that seem to be having an argument about who should be in front. As we come towards the penultimate corner through we go, there's the contact, everybody's all over the place. And through we go, behind the Spaniard. The BMW now deciding that he would very much like his seventh place back. And we're going to say no, that's my seventh place. And I would very much like it back. As we go down through turn one and regain the position. Onto the back part of the circuit now then, increasing the distance from the car behind us and decreasing the distance to the car in front of us, which I feel is possibly uh, the best thing to do in racing. Could be wrong, uh, leave a note in the comments if you feel that there is another method that I could use for winning races. As we try to stay as close as possible towards Ponzio in front of us, as we come on to the start and finish straight to complete lap number three. The packed out grandstand on the left hand side there going wild at the incredible scenes here at Watkins Glen. Through the bus stop chicane then for the fourth time, still behind Ponzio as he decides to uh, explore the track limits a little bit and get himself a nice little one second penalty. 
which he is going to serve here and graciously hand sixth place over to us. On to the end of lap five then and as we come into the pits we just about clip that yellow pit entry line on the left hand side there. We're going to come in and get the softs on for the second half of this race in an attempt to catch the people that have started on the soft tyre and will now be on the hards and hopefully we can begin to make up some ground. Coming out back onto the circuit then and you can see here we've managed to get a nice three second penalty by marginally touching the yellow line on pit entry. This is something I think PD need to look at because to get a penalty that easily I think is a little bit silly. Especially for people like me that have impaired vision, like myself, I can only see out of one eye. So PD, if you're listening, stop it. I think in general the penalties within Gran Turismo 7 need to be looked at because sometimes it's pretty laughable. And as we come through to serve that three second penalty now, we're going to lose two places because of that pit lane infringement. So now we've really got our work cut out for us. Coming through to begin lap seven then, you can see that there's somebody in the pits there that we're going to take seventh position from as we continue to try and push to close the gap to the two cars in front of us which as you can see by the end of lap seven here we seem to have accomplished coming towards the penultimate corner getting the fastest sector time there which is uh, definitely encouraging as we come through to complete the lap the soft tires starting to have the desired effect here although as we come down into the first corner i completely forget to brake and attempt to drive straight on into oblivion now i appreciate that i'm not the smartest guy in the world however i'm pretty sure that that is not the way to win it's imagine waiting for an hour to get into a lobby and then using that time to drive like a complete nutty. As we come into the bus stop chicane I try my hardest to remember which pedal is the brake pedal and quite successfully pull it off. On to the penultimate lap then we have made up a good bit of distance to the cars in front of us. There's three of them so at this point I'm hoping they have a little bit of a fight which will in turn slow them down and give me the opportunity to catch up. As we go into the bus stop trying to carry as much speed as possible without driving off into the barrier, hugging the inside of the corner there trying to get a decent run out, still closing the gap to the car in front of us. With just over a lap and a half to go of this race we've still got plenty of grip so we can afford to push a little bit in an attempt to perhaps gain a couple of positions as you can see the two cars there in front of me having a little bit of an argument which is a good sign that very shortly one of them is going to be nudged off into the shadow realm coming round to complete the lap and more argy bargy from STS and car baloo jala bala bala I think that's how you pronounce his name and as we come into the final turn STS there decides that the best place to break for that corner is halfway around it uh, which is an interesting strategy that I've not tried yet but perhaps that's where I'm going wrong as we go through the first bend for the final time towards the back straight and the bus stop getting up nice and close to the pair here as we go through the bus stop I'm not going to try anything too drastic here because I have a feeling that one of these two is going to force the other to possibly make a mistake or take them both out which would be fantastic. So I'm just going to hang back a little bit and pray that my strategy here is going to pay off. Kalabalu bala 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 getting a little knock from behind then and then deciding that he's bored of this little fight and he's going to take STS straight out, spin him clean off 
and hand seek the place to me. And I'm sure at this point STS is probably shouting a whole range of Turkish profanities towards the uh, Finnish driver in front. And although I do not condone dirty driving or violence, I have absolutely no issue with the move that Kalu blah 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 just executed as he runs wide out of the penultimate turn there giving himself a nice little half second penalty so we're going to stay just enough behind him and as we go over the line here you can see that his position turns to sixth and we take fifth which is rather proudly displayed here on the next screen now although I said it on the end of the last video hopefully polyphony start pulling their finger out soon and sort these servers out because I don't think I'm the only one that is starting to get just a little bit frustrated I'm sure it won't take them too long but as I said before they haven't really given us any indication of what's going on or when the fix will come so who knows as always, if you have liked the video, please drop a like, subscribe to the channel, it helps me out massively, and I will catch you in the next one.